Growing up in Southeast Texas in the 1930s, Anne Wright learned about being kind from her family. My home was always open to strangers or people that needed help. Two cousins lived with us, one of whom my dad put through college. With my own family, I tried to show the example that I had seen growing up. Anne's son, Mark, grew up in Sunnyvale, California, and observed the family tradition. I got this letter that said that Dad had invited a Korean family to uh, move in to the basement where I normally lived. My husband was the instigator of probably more of these experiences than I was. And that's the way my dad was. He uh, was not a man of words. That was left to my mom. She sort of defined kindness for us, but my dad showed us. So it was that in 2010, Mark came to his mother and proposed that they write a book about kindness, collecting stories taken from real life submissions and rewriting them to present a portrait of people helping other people. The book is called Miracles of Kindness, and this is their story. And so Anne and Mark began to gather stories, using Craigslist and other internet sources primarily, reaching out to the recipients of acts of kindness, the folks who truly experience the miracle. Throughout the three years that Miracles of Kindness has been in development, Anne and Mark have come to understand the nature of the people who have submitted their stories and how much they value their memories of the event. They know there is a sanctity to the relationship with their story contributors and they plan to honor that. We always need stories. That's what we're going to be uh, spending most of our time and energy on for the next six months is making sure we get the very best stories for Miracles of Kindness, something that truly inspires the market, the audience, the readership that we seek. Well, I think to see our names on a book would be kind of fun in a bookstore. Uh, I'm not hoping to get on uh, Oprah or of course she's gone or Katie or any other uh, talk show but just to know that people are reading what other people have written about kindness and that maybe it can kind of be an epidemic of kindness.